Hi and good morning everybody. Welcome to another daily challenge and thank you for joining me again. So we've got a slightly different um, challenge for you today. Um, I'm going to introduce you to a method of communicating which is called Morse code. Uh, Morse code is a kind of a language system used for sending messages which was named after somebody called Samuel Morse who invented it and it was really popular and common during the 19th and 20th centuries and during both world wars as a way of um, getting messages uh, across over long distances. So what it is, uh, I can just show you here in the corner of the screen, is it's a system of dots and dashes uh, where you have a combination of dots and dashes <coughs> which stands for each um, letter of the alphabet and the numbers um, that we use as well. So um, the way it works is that you uh, send using um, one of the methods we'll talk about in a second that combination of dots and dashes to the person that you want to get your message to and they then decode it. So two main ways you can do this are through sound, um, dots and dashes uh, can be called um, dits and dars. So a dot is a little beep like that and a dash or a dar is a longer beep like that. Um, the dash is supposed to be three times longer than the dot and if you have spaces between your uh, letters, when you have spaces between your letters they should be kind of three beats of the same length as a, a dash. So just um, a quick sample of how you can do this with um, a torch. So we've got a torch set up here and we can um, just do little blips like that or I can do of course longer, um, longer dashes like that. Okay, so if we look at the letter A, letter A is a, um, a dot and a dash, dot and a dash, dot and a dash, dot and a dash. Okay, um, if we look at the letter U, that is two dots and a dash, so it would be dot, dot, dash. Sorry, let's try that again. Dot, dot, dash okay so you can use light to um, send Morse code um, and hopefully all of you got a torch around um, so you could try that method but the other thing that um, you can do is you can use a, uh, a sort of buzzer thing <clears throat> and there's a really good um, online um, way of sort of generating Morse code that I'll show you now so I'm going to take the Morse code alphabet off the screen. I'm hoping you've printed yours out and you've got it ready. I'm going to shrink myself uh, down into the corner of the screen, if you give me a second like that. And I'm going to share my screen with you. So um, this is uh, not what I want. This is what I want. I've got a Morse code here. And basically, if you um, click on this here, it gives you a dot and if you click on this here it gives you a dash okay you can also use the Z key and the X key so this is a great way to sort of um, generate messages and start to play around with Morse code so one of the most famous Morse code messages that you'll ever hear about and come across is the Morse code for SOS um, which is a sort of international rescue signal which um, is broadcast when anybody is in trouble or ship is in trouble and if you look on your Morse code alphabet you can see that S is um, dot 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 and O is dash 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 and then again S is dot 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 so any ship in trouble uh, continuously broadcast this SOS um, signal so it's just <laughs> and they 
they just continuously um, signal that so that um, anybody listening knows they are in trouble. But hopefully we won't have any rescue situations when we're playing around with it. So what I'd like you um, to do is just with your alphabet here, I'm going to try and spell something out for you just as a starter. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave quite long spaces between the letters and I would recommend you do that when you're first starting to play around and practice with Morse code because it can be confusing sometimes to think what was a letter and, and what wasn't. So um, if you uh, are ready, I will start now. So here we go. So we've got... Okay. That's the first one, so there's a big long space there, okay. Second letter, okay, and then, okay, rewind this back if you need to, if you didn't quite get it. I'm not going to do it twice because it might get confusing. So we've had three letters so far, here's the next one, okay, that's the fourth letter. And then the last letter is, okay, so I'm going to come back to you uh, now. Uh, how did you get on with that? Hopefully um, <clears throat> you managed to spell out the letters H-E-L-L-O. You probably would have guessed what I was going to spell out before I even did that anyway. Um, but yes, uh, so that should have spelt um, hello. Uh, and you, you're off, you, you've started using um, Morse code. So uh, it's just interesting to just have a, a, a listen to this because this is what um, full Morse code sounds like. Here I've spelt out Twinkle Home Educators and I've used a generator to um, show you what that would sound like. So it would go like this. Cool. So we're, we're, that takes practice. Like anything, it takes practice, and I'm certainly not there yet with my Morse code. Um, so what I would recommend when you're playing around with this today is go um, really slow, big gaps between things, and do lots of sort of repetition as well. So if you're trying to decode something, um, listen to it, rewind it, and so on, and all the rest of it. So there's various things that you can do with this challenge. Um, there's some puzzles on the linked sheets that I'm going to share um, underneath this video that you can work on. Um, but what we'd really like to see is a message from you that we could try and decode. And then of course if lots of people share messages then we've then got other um, messages that you can try and decode. And probably the best way to do that is just to pop something um, on the thread in the uh, Twinkle Home Ed Facebook group. Um, so hope you have fun uh, playing around with this way to communicate. As always, let us know how you get on. And in the meantime, uh, good luck and we'll see you again soon for another daily challenge.